so here we are in our dyno cell today and the car we've got on at the moment is our own MK Indy kit car okay Lotus 7 style usual thing book chassis all the rest of it uh, this car's always had a 2.3 Duratec in and we've just done a swap out we've put a 2.5 in from the US Ford Fusion uh, basically their Ford Mondeo I guess uh, so this engine has come from the States um, it, unknown mileage but uh, very good compression all round it's pretty good internally um, so we've dropped it straight in we've put it on a set of 50 mil individual throttle bodies uh, DCOE style ones uh, we're running four 20cc injectors uh, Ford coil pack typical wasted spark setup um, Ford Focus front tensioner, all the usual stuff for a conversion on one of these cars really. Um, it's been an interesting conversion, there was actually a couple of little complications that uh, we weren't aware of. We actually put the front pulley on from the 2 litre and then realised that um, the crank sensors are different. Uh, so we had to take it all in bits again, swap all that over, put the 2.5 pulley on, uh, put the correct sensor on there. But aside from that, it's been pretty straightforward. Uh, one other thing we've noticed, um, which is a bit of a lesson learned, we timed it up using the typical timing pin. What a load of rubbish. Timing was 15 degrees out on those cams. Uh, we were well down on power, struggling to work out why. It made great low down torque, but wouldn't do the power higher up. Uh, and then we realized that that, pull, that um, pin was put in the cams 15 degrees advanced, which is no good. So lesson learned there, always DTI the piston. Uh, we won't do that again. I just thought I'd run over a couple of things that we've been doing on it. So obviously I've mapped it on the ME221 ECU using their mighty software. Very, very good. You really can't go wrong there. It's fantastic. Uh, the ECU is incredibly easy to install. The loom, pretty much plug and play. This is a ZTEC loom we've just adapted. The only plug we had to adapt was the crank sensor plug when we did when we had it on the 2.3 because um, the crank sensor plug on a ZTEC is different to a Durotec. But aside from that, pretty much all plug and play and straight in there. So as usual, we've mapped it, we've uh, played about with trumpet lengths, we've played about with the VVT. Um, we can't fully control the VVT on this engine with this ECU uh, because the firmware isn't available for the particular cam pattern. Uh, it is on the 442 and the ME442, uh, but not on the 221. So we've opted to just switch the VVT in and out. Uh, which it actually works really well. We're probably losing a little bit at the top end, but not massive. Uh, the important thing is we get the good gains low down, which I'll show you in a second on the graphs. So we've had our 50 mil trumpets on, we've had our 25 mil trumpets on, but we've found that the 90 mil trumpets do offer significant improvements, which I'll show you now. So we mapped it first without the VVT active. Uh, so the blue line is the torque, the red line is the power, uh, the thin lines are without the VVT. So as you can see, you lose a massive amount low down. So we're talking 204 there, drops to 175. And you can see that that's across until about 4,000, 4,500 um, when it starts to pick up and it doesn't really need the VVT so much. 
Uh, so it is, really is worth having it on, even if it's only switched. You can see this peak here, uh, well not a peak, but a drop off, and that's where it actually switches. Uh, on later runs I actually switched it out slightly later and that smoothed that out nicely, so we've now got it switching out at 5000. Uh, you can really hear that on the car as well on the on the noise video that you may have just seen or are about to see. Uh, you can really hear the no the note change at 5,000 revs. So just moving on to the um, the trumpet comparison. Okay, so we've looked at the VVT. Although this is a later run, you can see there that is the smoothing out that I was talking about, where I actually switched the VVT in later on, so it actually leveled that area out instead of that dip. But aside from that. The, uh, the average torque, as you can see, is significantly improved with the thin line using the 90 mil trumpets over the thick line, which is using the 50 mil trumpets. So uh, it just goes to show that induction length does play an important part, and that's why we offer three lengths of trumpet. That isn't always the case. Sometimes we barely gain anything using a 90 mil trumpet. Sometimes you want a shorter trumpet. Sometimes space restrictions force you to have a shorter trumpet, but um, at least we can test that. So overall, we've got a peak torque figure of 219 foot-pounds of torque and 216 brake horsepower at 5,700 RPM. That's from a completely stock 2.5 Ford Fusion engine, 50 mm throttle bodies and a nice exhaust. So that should make for a nice little, um, nice little drive. Next up, we'll put some cams in it. Um, so yeah, keep, uh, keep an eye out for our next video. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please do subscribe and click the like button. Uh, we'll try and get some more of these videos and uh, give you guys some more ideas on what we do at Danced Engineering.